there was a, a thing as I started to play guitar and, and realize that, and obviously this was going to be my way to be able to communicate better than I could with my mouth and with my mind and my heart. You know, it was very secretive. So I started listening to Hendrix, and I bought a record. It had Otis Redding on one side and it had Jimi Hendrix on the other side, and it was the Monterey Pop Festival. There's a moment in the front of that record where Hendrix is playing like a Rolling Stone by Bob Dylan. And he's going, boom, gong, 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 right? And he's doing all that stuff. And he says, and he says, it's really out of sight here. Didn't even rain. No buttons to push. No buttons to push. Uh, right now, I'd like to play a song by Bob, by Bob Dylan. Dylan. And uh, he says, that's his grandmother that's over his grandma there. Over there. And all this sort of stuff. And at one point, he's trying to talk, and his hands play all by themselves. And this lick goes boom, 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 da, 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 da. And at that moment, he has no control over what just happened. His subconscious took over. It's funny because I found my original album of that, and it's all scratched up, but you can see that all I did about 3,000 times was grab the needle and put it back so I could hear that moment. That's what I want. I wanted to be able to play without thinking, to have that subconscious moment. I didn't want to play like Hendrix. I wanted to feel like Hendrix. I wanted to feel like music. I didn't want to be anybody. I just wanted to be music. It's harder to tap into it as a writer, but you can. J. Paul Getty, Motherfuckers with Machetes. Mm -hmm. I didn't write that. I just, it just came out. It was total subconscious wordplay. <laughs>